we are going to be getting our massive acceleration here. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be going over a 2020 Ford Raptor that is in my favorite absolute spec that you could get for a Raptor. So, as always, a huge shout out and thank you to the Ford here in Provo, Utah, for providing us with the Raptor. Check out their inventory in the link below. Let's get right into the video. So obviously the video is going to be about why you should buy a Raptor now. And if you aren't familiar with the engine specs, that's going to be very important why you should buy it. So twin turbo V6, 10 speed automatic transmission, fuel economy is 15 around town, 18 on the highway. And my Raptor, I'm going to get about 12 just because I floor it everywhere. Power outputs 450 horsepower and then 510 pound feet of torque. And yeah, pretty cool looking. Let's go over the front end of the wrap, and by the way, this is finished in Ford Performance Blue, which I absolutely love this color. If I didn't wrap all my vehicles, this is a color that I would get from the factory because it just looks so good on the Raptor. It's super unique, and I just I love it in general. So obviously, you get the giant kind of like E-shaped headlights with the Raptor with the LED markers and everything. It just looks really good. The Raptor is wide-bodied from the factory, so it's about nine inches wider compared to a standard F-150. Got the tow hooks and skid plate there at the bottom, and then it's really easy to actually equip LED lights here in those sections on the bumper. And then if you guys are wondering, actually, because a lot of people when they see videos on this truck they didn't realize the front grille and the bumpers and the fender flares are actually gray they're not black so they're kind of like a metallic gray and well they match the wheels if you do get the bead locks from the factory and then here's kind of like a really close look at that paint so you guys can see just there in the sunlight looks absolutely fantastic yes the venting's real and well that's my uh, drawn out thing on the front end of the Raptor. Now here at the front end, this one does have the bead locks from the factory, like I said. So color wise, they will match the bumpers and the fenders. And if you get a 2019 or a 2020, like this one's a 2020, the front end is gonna be a little bit higher compared to the 2017s and the 18s. And that's obviously because they did new suspension, which is the live valve that we'll talk about once we get to the rear there. But you can see the mirrors they actually do body painted. And then they come with the running boards here on the side. This one is a super cruise. So it's a larger size cab and let's head to the rear. Here's a key fob for the Raptor. It does have the Raptor logo there on the back. You've got a couple functions. You've got your unlock, which obviously does the cool LED lights. And then you got the lock remote start, which is press that twice. And it's weird to hear how quiet a stock Raptor is because mine obviously has a coarse exhaust and the sound difference is actually pretty massive. But yeah, there's that part. And then obviously if you press this button, this will lower down the tailgate. It is pretty slow lowering, but this Raptor wrestling is pretty cool. It has a bed liner from the factory, which is something that I definitely need to get on mine. I would recommend getting a bed liner in the truck, whether you get them from the factory or not, that's not important, but you should just get it. LED bed lights here in the back as well. And then you got Ford's whole step system. So this all pulls out and you got this little handle that pulls up and you basically can just step up into the truck, super straightforward and that's everything for the back. Now finishing things up with this part of the back, I love the lights here in the back. They have a distinctive look. You've got a little cargo light there at the top. Got the little lights there on the side. And then this is pretty interesting. So just so you guys know, this again is that gray, but then this is kind of like matte black. So you've got like mixture between gray and matte black on the bumpers and everything here in the rear. And then obviously we've got to talk about the suspension back here. So you've got the new live valve suspension, which is absolutely fantastic. So just from like an ownership perspective, this is way better compared to a 17 or an 18 on the off-road but on road these trucks do ride a little bit rougher compared to 17s or 18s it's not that much but it is a little bit but these trucks also handle better than a 17 or an 18 so that's kind of what you want do you want a smoother ride get a 17 or an 18 but if you want a better overall truck 19 or 20 it is now coming here into the back this one has my favorite interior as well this is why this truck's my favorite spec of all time but carbon fiber trim here because Yes, this one has the blue Recaros, which definitely I'd make that a must-have. Well, not a must-have option, but if you want to be cool, get the blue Recaros. And this one is a Super Crew, so obviously there's a ton of space back here. I mean, you guys can see tons of legroom. This specific one has the heated seats for the rear as well. And all of them have little cup holders that, these are kind of interesting, but I mean, they get the job done. And if you guys are wondering, I'm 5'11", there's my legroom. There's my headroom, it's all pretty good. And 
that's everything for the back. Coming up to the front, you get your Kia Sentry. This one does have the blind spot monitoring as well because it's an 802A package truck. But here's the door panel in the front, and you guys will notice you get blue stitching with that Recaro package. So again, that matches the exterior, matches the interior, all looks good. Here are the front seats. From an ownership experience, they're really comfortable um, just to sit in. They do have the heated and cooled function, and they look really cool. There's your power adjustments on them. And then just down there, there is the pedals. And then you've got your controls for the parking brake, your pedal adjustments, your light controls. Those are the lights for the side of the truck. And then the steering wheel is actually automatically adjustable. And there's your big magnesium paddle shifters, which they just look really nice and feel really nice. Starting up the Raptor, you're gonna get your little built Ford Tough and everything will come on to life. Here's the steering wheel in the Raptor. I absolutely love the steering wheel, just the feeling of it in general, especially where the grips are and everything. It's absolutely perfect. The red marker at the top just definitely has a cool little look to it. Now for controls, you have your volume controls and your radio station controls, all that, really useful. And then we'll go over these in a moment, but these are your drive modes and then your steering modes on this side. You guys remember the paddles, you get blue stitching on this one with the Recaro package. That's for the center screen. The adaptive cruise control works really well. I actually use it all the time on my Raptor. That's actually what I was using to get down here today. And yep, that's everything for the steering wheel. Coming here to the center stack, the RPMs and the speed are kind of like cool little analog gauges. And then here in the center, you can see it's little center stack that you can kind of customize. I usually leave mine to be a digital speedometer. Now the cool part is over here, you've got the Raptor stats, which shows you your drive mode, suspension, all that kind of stuff, pretty cool. And then you go over to the off-road status and that shows you even more information and then even have the power distribution. So it just shows you so much stuff on the Raptor itself. I think it's just pretty neat in general. And that'll actually lead us into the drive mode. So it's quite a few drive modes. You've got your normal, you've got your deep snow and sand, Baja, rock crawl, slippery. And of course it stops me before I can go to the next one. And then you've got your tow haul mode, which is next, your sport. And then all the way back to normal. If you guys are wondering, the sport mode I think is supreme. That's like the best mode ever. That's the mode you're gonna be using pretty much most of the time. Even when you go off-roading, it works in most circumstances, or the Baja mode is great as well. And then with the steering modes, you just have three. You've got your normal, sport, and comfort. I usually drive them with mine in the sport all the time because I kind of like the firmer feel. But if you go for the comfort or the normal, it definitely has a completely different feel with steering the truck. Of the little infotainment system, we've got the auto stop start, you got a little camera button, and then you've got the hazard lights off-road cruise control and then you've got the stability control right there now here for the center screen if you pop in reverse you can see the camera that pops up if you turn the steering wheel the trajectory lines will turn as well and you can see you've got a little zoom function right there and then the 360 view if you're wondering why it's beeping at me it's because i've got the door open which actually messes with the 360 camera view but with the other camera views you do have a front camera which definitely helps out with the off-road so you guys can see there definitely helps out. The one thing that's kind of disappointing is the old Raptor had lines. we would actually show you where you're going, whereas the new Raptor doesn't have little trajectory lines for the front camera. So it's kind of interesting that they got rid of a nice little function with the camera. Now with the rest of the infotainment system itself, this is the newer system with sync. Really responsive in my opinion. I mean, you can see it just works really well. And then this does have your controls for the climate controls, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all that fun stuff. And that's all for the infotainment system. Now there's a lot of stuff happening here. You can see over on this side you've got a little power outlet and 12 volt analog controls for the radio station analog climate controls your heated and ventilated seat controls are over here if you're wondering where the steering wheel control is you actually have to go to the climate on the screen and then you actually have to go to menu and then you can turn on or off the heated steering wheel there is no button for it and then over here is your drive line select with the axle lock your trailer backup system trailer brake controls and then you can see this little carbon fiber tab right here that kind of hides some extra little storage space down in that little area. And then covering that back up, you can see this is the shifter for the 10-speed automatic. You can manually shift the gears with this. That's not as fun as manually shifting the gears with the paddles, just saying. Lane departure assistance, never used it in my life. Cup holders right over here. And then the center console, it's got the suede on the side right there. You guys can see storage space is absolutely massive in it. I've got my backpack and my handy mask right there. More carbon fiber trim, stitching, and leather on the dash. And then there is the glove box. Now coming up top, you've got all of your little auxiliary switch controls right here for the Raptor. And then this is for the power rear sliding window at the top as well. You've got your light controls. And this one does not have a sunroof, so it actually weighs less compared to a Raptor that does have a sunroof that adds quite a bit of weight. Universal garage door openers, and that's all for the top. Now that we're done going over the interior, let's quickly get into pricing. So in terms of pricing, this particular Raptor stickers for about $74,000 for any type of market adjustment. And like I said, this one's like my dream 
spec because if I didn't wrap my vehicles, then I just love the look of the blue Raptors. It matches the blue interior perfectly and it's just such a good looking truck. That all being said, let's take a stock Raptor out and see how she drives. Here's a quick look at visibility all throughout the Raptors. You guys can see visibility of the hood's really solid. There's your visibility through both of the mirrors. And then here's all throughout the rear. And you can see that everything about this truck is just uh, beautiful. All jokes aside, let's set off. Well, isn't this interesting? Setting off in a Raptor, even though I own a Raptor, but I thought that if I was gonna make this video about why you guys should buy a Raptor now, I should probably do it in like a brand new one so you guys get an idea of what a new one looks like and not a used one with over 9,000 miles on it. And obviously let's quickly talk about the driving impressions and then we'll get into why I think now is the time to buy. So first off with the driving impressions, you guys know I love the Raptor and this is the first time I've driven a Raptor with a steering in comfort mode. It feels so weird. Like it feels like a regular truck. It doesn't have that like sporty firm feel. I almost have to like put it into the sport mode so that like I feel like I'm driving a Raptor that I'm used to driving. Like it's there's a there's a big difference between comfort and sport mode with the steering. Like you can definitely just feel a huge huge difference between the different steering modes. And coming up here stopping, brakes work fantastic and the truck feels everything the same as mine even though mine has 9,000 miles and i've jumped it a bunch and off-roaded it a bunch a new one still drives the same as mine so that tells me that i haven't really messed anything up with my truck yet <laughs> well we are going to be getting our massive acceleration here you know what's weird is with all the windows closed this has about the same sound as my raptor the only way I can tell the difference with mine having the modified exhaust is when I have the windows down or the back window open, so it's pretty interesting. Acceleration feels the same as my Raptor. Obviously, same engine, all that kind of stuff. Acceleration is really strong. It's the best for a truck right now. There's just no other truck that's as quick as the Raptor. And now let's get into why I think you should buy one right now, because <laughs> that's the most important part of the video. So here's the deal. Ford has been all over the place about the new Raptor. Obviously Ford just released the information on the new body style 1500, but they didn't include the Raptor. And here's the thing is I've heard so many mixed opinions. I've heard the Raptor might be a 2021 model year. I've heard it might be a 2022 model year all over the place. But the fact stands, if you've been thinking about buying a Raptor, you want to jump on one now where there's still Raptors available and you want to get it before there's like tons of hype for the new Raptor because right now you could get a good deal on a Raptor and the market's not going to go crazy high because right now there's still Raptors on the market but once all the new Raptors are purchased you will not have a chance to buy a new Raptor like you just won't have a chance so that's why I think right now is the best time to buy a Raptor. If you're thinking about buying this current generation of Raptor, if you're obviously thinking about buying the new Raptor, then wait for the new Raptor. But yeah, now is definitely the time, in my opinion, before the prices go through the roof because I know that they're going to go back up again soon if they haven't uh, some places already. And this is also my favorite spec on a Raptor. So I had to do a video on it. And that's all. Buy a Raptor, guys. That's, that's the moral of today's video, buy a Raptor. And there we have it, everyone, a 2020 Ford Raptor finished in performance blue with the Recaro seats and the beadlocks and all the fun stuff. And again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Ford Lincoln here in Provo, Utah for providing us with the Raptor. Check out their inventory in the link below. And like I said, there's just limited inventory in terms of Raptors. So if you're really interested in getting a new Raptor, you, you've got to jump on one now, that's all I'm saying. I'll see you guys in the next video.